Hello, in this video, we are going to see the shipping discount Shopify function. This function gives us more control for the shipping discounts we can create in a Shopify store and will allow us to do things such as free shipping, add a discount on shipping, so instead of making it completely free, just reduce a fraction of its price, like a 20% off or a fixed amount, and also create a shipping discount that targets a specific shipping method instead of just applying to all. Now, let's quickly see why you might need this function. So here I have a Shopify store and I will click on discounts here and then click on create discount. From the list of options we have here, you are going to see that the only one that has to do with shipping is this one that says free shipping. So if you wanted to discount shipping in any other way, like a 50% off or reducing it by a fixed amount, you cannot do that from here. And in cases like that is where a Shopify function would be necessary. So here I have this checkout and I created these two shipping rates as an example so we can better see how these values are impacted throughout this video. Now let's go to the code and let's create the function. So here I have VS Code open and I'll run npm init Shopify app latest to create a new Shopify app. And this will be called shipping discount. I will select the extension only template and I will wait for this to install. And after this is installed, we can take all of this out of this folder remove this and then run npm run shopify app generate extension to create the shipping discount extension so i'll create this as a new app i'll keep this name and now let's look here for shipping discount shipping function now i'll name this shipping discount function i will select select TypeScript and I will wait for these dependencies to install. So the dependencies have finished installing. Let's go to extensions, shipping this kind of extension, SRC. And the first thing we need to do is change this run input query to get the data we need for the function. Let's start by getting the delivery groups. So I will remove all of this and get cart delivery groups. And from here, I want delivery options, title and handle. We will see what we need to handle for later, but for now, let's query this. And this autocomplete is possible because of the GraphQL extension. In case you were wondering, I have a video covering that. I will leave that in the video description. But now let's go to run.ts and let's start writing the function body. Before that, let's quickly generate the types. For this, I will open a new console and go to extensions, shipping discount, and from here, from npm, from type gen. This is only necessary if you are using TypeScript, as I'm using in this video. And we have the types now, so let's start writing the function. Now let's start with a simple discount. Let's create one that gives us $5 off from a shipping method. So here, I'm going to remove this. And discounts here, this is an array. Targets is also an array. We will keep this empty for now. And then in value, we are going to here specify fixed amount, amount, and let's just say five. Now, what are the targets? The targets are these delivery options we are querying here. So let's open this object. And here we have to specify either a delivery group or a delivery option. We are going to be using delivery options. So let's remove this from here. And now let's create delivery options. This will be an empty array. And let's see what properties a delivery option has. So we have to specify just the handle. So let's do just that. Let's create a type here. Delivery option. Handle. And this is a string. And now what we'll do for const delivery group of input at card at delivery groups and then for const option of delivery group, the delivery options, we're going to do delivery options that push delivery option handle. We are going to do option dot handle. So we are pushing all the handles into these delivery options array. And now here we are going to say that targets will be equal to delivery options. Let's save this. We can also remove this line from here because we're not using that. And now let's run this and see this in action. 
So from this console, I will run mpf.dev. It will ask me in what store I want to install this. So I will look for function shipping discount, which is a store I will be using throughout this video. And now I will press P to open this in the browser. And we are asked here to install this. We can see on Reddit that there is a missing provision here because we are going to need to create a discount code for this to work. So let's quickly fix that. Over here in shopify.app.toml, I will add this code, write discounts. I will close this and now run npm run deploy to let Shopify know that we updated this code. We are going to see here in the console that the access scopes got updated. So I'll say yes here. To release this as a new version. And then I'm going to run once again npm run dev to open this locally and update the scopes so we can install this function. So here I will press P. We can see here this can tell 10 promotions. So let's update this. And now here I will press T to open the GraphQL editor so we can install this function. Now we have to get the Shopify function ID, so I will get the first 10 functions that I have installed. And I will get their ID and title. In this case, I just have this one installed, so I will copy this. And now we have to create a mutation here. Discount mutation. Discount code app create. Code app discount. And here we have to specify function ID. That's this. We also have to give this a title. So let's give this shipping discount. We have to give it a start date. So let's just say January 1st. And we also have to specify the code. So let's just say here shipping discount. And copy this. And now from here, we can get the discount ID in case this was created or if there are errors, let's get, let's get the message. We run this, we get the discount ID. So this was successfully created. Let's try it out at checkout now. So here now, I would paste this discount, click apply, and we can see that we have $5 off from both of these methods. In this case, this one is now 5 and this one is now 5 We can update this to instead of a fixed amount, let's use now a percentage. So. Let's remove this percentage here. And the value, let's say that we want to give this a 50% off. I will remove this from here. Refresh. Paste again and click on apply. And now we have a 50% off. So this one is still 5, but this one is now 25. You can see that this updates over here. We can also only target a specific one of these methods. So over here, let's say that we are pushing only if option the title is equals to premium. So we are only going to be discounting the premium shipping method. Let's save this. Let's revoke this. Refresh. And now you can see that the economy method is still 10 even though the discount is applied but the premium one is 25. And as this is a function, we can use in the body of the function anything we can query from this from the GraphQL. So for example, let's query the cost of this card. Let's get the subtotal amount. From here, let's get the amount. Let's update the types. And from here, let's say that the value we want the discount to be is 5% of the subtotal amount. So Let's remove this percentage from here. And instead, once again, let's go to fix amount, amount, and we are going to get input the cart, the cost, subtotal amount, amount, and multiply this by 0 0.05. Let's save this. And now, once again, let's remove this, refresh the page, and apply the discount. And we are seeing that the premium 
shipping method itself by $30 because that's the 5% of these $600 total. If we add another item to the current, like for example this one, and go to check out again. Let's input an address. We are going to see that the amount of also got updated. We could also do something like give this a maximum. So we are going to say that it will, it will be the minimum in between $10 or the 5% of the card. That way, this discount, no matter what the value of the card is, will never go beyond that book dollars. So if I remove this, refresh, and paste this here, we are going to see that now we just have $10 off. Then but if I remove the $6 item from my card, we can see that the discount is once again just 5% of this value as it doesn't go beyond $10. Something else we can add here is a conditional to check if delivery options dot length is equal to zero, then we are going to return this empty discount constant that was created at the beginning, which is just returning an object with discount as an empty array. We can add multiple conditionals here. So for example, we could check if input at card that cost does subtotal amount is less than certain value like 500 or something like that. And in case it is, then we are going to return an empty discount. I have to say subtotal amount, that amount. If it goes beyond below this value, we are going to return an empty discount because the customer is not meeting the criteria for this discount to apply, for example. And before closing the video, let's quickly see why we are using this nested for loop here for delivery groups and then delivery options. So here I have added these two items to my cart and you can see that they have multiple shippings. So if I click on more shipping option, you can see that this one is in the shipment one and this one is in shipment two. So they will be divided here by two delivery groups. If I only handle the first one by checking here for something like delivery options, that length to be zero. So we can only enter here when this array is empty. You're going to see now that when I remove this and try to apply it again, I only get the discount on the first one, but the second one has its full price. So that is why we have to push all of the ones that apply in case we want this behavior to be the same for all the shipping groups. So let's remove this from here. Close this, copy, refresh, apply again. And we can see here once again that this value is the same for both. If I click save, I get the discount applied to both of them. And there you have it. This is how you use the shipping discount Shopify function. If you found this video helpful, remember to like and subscribe for more Shopify related content. And I will see you all in the next video.